Well, how many times have we said something like, we have to do this again sometime, or had someone invite us to do something when we get the time? And how many times do we never do that thing or never quite find the time? You probably already have an answer for that. Well, that is the whole idea at the root of this story that Franco and I were lucky enough to have the time to do during our Olympic hiatus last month. It gave us a chance to see a place that we'd been to many times before through a whole new set of eyes. Just one additional note here, masking rules were still in place when we shot this piece, so we're wearing masks, but we're very excited to take the time to share this with you today on Most Buffalo. After all, it's kind of a long story. Outside Shea's Performing Arts Center, Buffalo always gets top billing, its name perpetually in lights. It's just the opening act for what awaits inside. I like to see the little ones come in. They come for kid shows, they're like six or seven, and they look around and say, does the princess live here? It's almost a shame when you think about it, a place so beautiful, and people spend most of their time here in the dark. I know you've been here for so many years. Do you, you know, what do you feel when you come in here? Take a minute. It's, it's still, in times, slightly overwhelming. The, the mere scope of the place and the amount of work. A work of art when it opened in 1926, this showpiece relies today on the trained eye and creative hands of an artist who also possesses the diligent tenacity of a researcher combined with just a dash of refined frugality. Someone mindful that the tiniest details make the masterpiece. This is where all the magic happens. Her name is Doris. I was an art teacher eons ago. Today, Doris Collins is Shay's historic. Here I am 26 years later, <laughs> still around. Restoration. We've replaced most, so many of the loose wires. They hold hundreds and hundreds of crystal beads. Consultant. I'm going to show you my favorite part. Oh. And it's not anything ornate that you might think of. Last time I saw you and you said, if you ever have a chance, you should come and we'll do this. And so I'm just really glad that I was able well, to take you up on I was glad that you were able to do that. I first met Doris while doing a story about Western New York's haunted places. And when she finished telling me a ghost story about the theater, she told me if I ever had the time and wanted to really see Shays, she'd show me around. Well, recently, I did have the time. And did she ever show me around? Ta-da! Cellar to ceiling and even beyond, I couldn't pass up this rare opportunity to not only look around, but really learn more about what goes into <laughs> polishing this Queen City jewel. For starters, it's a job largely done by volunteers. I've had them from age 12 to 82. All directed by Doris. And they've been just absolutely wonderful. Under normal circumstances, in the rush to find your seat, for example, you might miss the precise methods of painting on the walls, stencils used to mimic the look of more expensive fabric. And they said just to replace the fabric and have it installed is $400,000. I've spent maybe 4000 you may never look up to notice the delicate fixtures designed to cast equally beautiful shadows along with their light, or look down to appreciate the carefully curated carpets, or ever know what went into getting those custom-made curtains. The drapery fabric all came from Austria. Which is also, by the way, where Doris was born and lived until the age of nine. It's been a, an interesting life. Things really got interesting for us when Doris led us down back hallways and up staircases to places like the projection booth. It's walls covered in theater history most people never get to see. So the people that come with their shows do come up here, and needless to say, they put all of their artwork to let them know that they were here. As the tour goes on. I found more men to be afraid of heights than women. There's a story with every step. We fed it from the top down, came up the other side, and then put it in place sideways, turned it, and attached it to the angle irons so you can't see the patch. You're like MacGyver. <laughs> Well, I don't mind that. <laughs> and never could you imagine looking up at that ceiling. This 
eerie world is just on the other side, catwalks creating a footpath through the old bones of this historic building. And obviously 96 years of dust. An exploration perhaps not for everyone. Thankfully, through all its years, there has been someone who has loved this theater enough to pardon the dust and make sure whoever walks through its doors is transported to somewhere beyond their imagination. 96 years and counting. Shays is still alive with incredible sights and great performances. And one woman who you may never see, but now you know, her heart is here in every corner. I jokingly say that uh, obviously we don't live forever. And I don't intend to be buried. I'm going to be cremated. That's already in my will. And I told uh, Michael Murphy, our president, that he has to find a nice little niche that they can do a little re little entry with a brass and glass door and put my urn in there <laughs> that says Doris Collins, restoration consultant. She never left. <laughs> Haunting them if they don't. <laughs> when we knew that we were going to have time to do a story like that, she was the first person that I got in touch with because I said, hey, Doris, remember when you said I could come and you'd show me around and take me up in the ceiling? I'm like, let's do it. So. She's a wonderful, wonderful person, so mm -hmm. incredibly knowledgeable and unbelievably talented. And you wouldn't even realize when you walk in there that so much of that place has her uh, as part of it. So it's what a cool experience. Yes, it seems like she's the perfect person for their job. Yes, right? yes, wonderful at it. So thank you to Doris and to everybody over at Shays. We appreciated being able to, to wander around there for literally like four hours. Wow. <laughs> so it was great. <laughs> a good time. But anyways, we'll get, we'll get to weather.